Every year we get different type of opportunity and I think this year is going to be the 24 hour trading because not everyone is going to have access to it. So in this video, I'll show you how to access it and also how to see the chart data for the 24 hour trading because it's not available everywhere. So before getting the video, a quick reminder that all the best tools for day trading will be linked in the description. That will also include a link to IBKR if you want to join it and get on the action. So without further ado, let's get right in. So first, let's break down what is overnight trading on US stocks and ETF. It starts when the post market is closed. So that means after 8 p.m. and it closes just before the market or the pre-market open at 3.50 a.m. So this type of trading or getting access to this type of trading is not going to be for your everyday type Type of trade this is really going to be for breaking news when something unexpected happened and you want to take advantage of a certain opportunity before the market opens and the post market is closed so if you want to access the overnight here's the link it's going to be done in description you're only going to need to go add permission the next thing we're going to go over is just make sure that the hours are pretty clear 8 p.m to 3 50 a.m and it starts on Sunday night. This is really important because if some news comes over the weekend, you're gonna be able to get involved on Sunday evening and it closes on Friday. So the following thing we're gonna do is show you how to access it on your chart because this was a serious headache. I didn't know how to access it. It took me a long time and now I figured that part out. So when we look at a chart, we can see over here that this is gonna be today. So we're at the 13th and we can see that the last closing day was on the 10th. So there's a big gap over here from the close. So it closes at 1731 and then it opened in the pre-market around the $20. This is because there was news. Roaring Kitty decided to tweet after years of not tweeting and this created action because GME was a meme stock. So if we go to this chart, even if we look at a shorter time frame like a one minute you're not going to have access to the tweet or to the action that was created by the tweet and this is because you don't have the overnight trading selected so you're only going to see your regular trading day and not the overnight if you want to access this you're just gonna have to go click on gme if you don't see the stock directed at the bottom right over here, there's going to be a button that you can open and then this is going to be appearing on your chart or on the selected icon over here and you're going to have to click on it. When you click on it, there's a couple of things you can do. You can select some specific exchange, but for this over here, you're going to have to click overnight and just click add. So now that we have overnight selected, you can change the time frame just so it reloads the chart because it's two different charts. It's a bit odd, but it's also a new product. So I don't blame anyone for that. So we can see over here that we have 1750. So this is how or when it started to trade on Sunday. So we can see that this is the 12. If we open a calendar, the 12 was Sunday and this was at 8 p.m. 8.05. If we look at the price, so this is 17.50. Uh, we can probably add some uh, some markers just to have a reference in price and we're going to just put the low or even something like over here just to give an area of perspective and then what we're going to go do is just put the regular gme chart and go to smart and then we're going to just reload uh, what we had if you were looking to trade this as a breaking news you can see over here that the stock closed at 1738 and then you were able to get in around the 18 dollar in the post or extended days of trading because IBKR gave you access. And just if you're looking to trade this as a gap, you could have exited on this pop at 4 a.m. But if you were looking to trade, your risk was really small compared to the reward. So this type of opportunity is not going to happen every day, but just having the access to it for when this happened could really be a make or break for your trading this year. And I'll just show you a couple more things that you can do to make sure that you have all the access and also the route that you need to take if you want to participate in this action and get the best fill. So when it comes to routing and which route to take for this. So Interactive Broker expands overnight trading to over 10,000 US stocks and ETF and this is by Blue Ocean Technology. So this is a routing company so they're liquidity provider and they specialize in overnight uh, trading so these type of stuff so they provide liquidity for the overnight and this is a good article by this blog so we can see interactive tab Blue Ocean ETS for supple supplementary liquidity and this is where the most important part of this article is. So interactive broker process its client trade through alternative trading system ETS however to supplement 
overnight trading liquidity available on proprietary ATS. The brokerage has partnered with Blue Ocean Technology, a provider of after-hour capital markets infrastructure. As a result of collaboration, Interactive Broker has additional liquidity from its relationship with Blue Ocean ATS. So this is really, really important because if you seek the most liquidity and also how to trade this, you're going to have to use this ATS and to access it, the only thing you're going to need to do is just go on pricing and then you're going to be able to see that blue ocean is going to be right over here. You can click on it and then you're going to be able to see the price to remove and also to add liquidity. By the way, if you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, don't forget to check out the link in the description if you're looking for the best broker, scanner, charts and newsfeed. Let's get back to it. So if you're in TWS and you want to see the data on your level two and how to really access this, just open an order window. And the next thing you're going to be doing is just go into your advanced menu and then you're going to be able to select overnight, which is technically going to be rerouting to the algo that we talked about, which was blue ocean. But if you don't want to do this, what you can do is just go select overnight trading and you're going to be able to select or see that data in your level two. This is going to be important. If you don't select overnight trading and you don't have it also selected over here for your routing, sometime your order can get funky. So just select overnight and also over here overnight and you're going to be able to see the data and also you're going to be able to trade it like if it was a regular stock. So when it comes to that type of trading, I don't think it's going to be for every day, but there's going to be certain day that there's going to be so much edge available with this access that you're going to need to have it. And these days are going to be when really big news, it could be merger and acquisition, but it could also be really negative news and you had a long position. You're going to be able to exit your position before everyone else and get better prices. Same thing if you're stuck short, you're going to be able to exit position before the market open. The other advantage that you're going to get is that because it's low liquidity yes it's going to be a bit more dangerous but that also means that the competition is not going to be as strong as when the market is open because there's going to be less bot or less algo involved because there's just not enough liquidity for some morgan stanley goldman Sachs, or citadel to really be involved on a low liquidity market like this is and this is like a secret sauce that could really take your trading to the next level because you're not going to trade against really deep pockets these are going to be thinner trades, thinner traders. And even if it's a big trader, he can't just take all the liquidity because if something else happened, he's not going to be able to get out. So as usual, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you want to join Interactive Broker, I'll put a link in the description. So thanks again. Peace. A few things I am not. I'm not a cat. I am not an institutional investor, nor am I a hedge fund.